welcome everyone to the great debate where I wanted to talk about the healthier, the positive aspects of American anime fandom. And no, I'm not trolling. I think a lot of people um, talk about these things and you know, it's easy to be crabby about the state of things. It's easy to complain and, and, and see all the negative things. But I think it's worthwhile to look at the positives as well and some of the things that fandom does right. And I think certainly one of the things is the fact that um, fandom, anime fandom in particular, um, seems is is particularly open towards um, different representations of characters. Where you know, if you want to cosplay as a particular character, you know, with a slightly different color scheme, people don't freak out. Um, you know, if you want to cosplay as a character in a certain situation, people don't freak out about that. Um, certainly not as bad as in other fandoms where, you know, how dare you do this? Um, you know, we, we seem to be pretty fine with people, um, reinterpreting and thinking about characters. Now, obviously, will people will humorously talk about, oh, you know, that's, that's, that's crazy, that's ridiculous. But there doesn't seem to be, you know, the harassment that you see in other fandoms when people reinterpret uh, other characters and that kind of stuff. To that point, um, I think anime fandom in particular is much more open about fan use and reuse of characters. Uh, you know, famously Dojinshi and things like that, where even the creators are very chill about people doing their own comics and their own fan art and such of those characters. Um, and I think that's, that's overall a healthy attitude, especially because I think you know the fandom has established this very clear separation between fan work and like professional and, and uh, professional work and by that I mean there's a big difference between drawing fan art of a character and posting it on DeviantArt versus drawing a comic and trying to sell it for profit at a convention right like you, know, you can you can have your comic and sell it for whatever you you uh, spent on making it but you're not looking for profit out of those things. We, we, we very much understand, I think, that if you are doing fan art of, you know, Sakura from Naruto, you're doing that in a fan context, not in a, uh, in a business context. You're not trying to, to turn that into something profit-making. Uh, and so I think that that's, that's, that, that's really cool. There's also this wonderful um, familiarity between the fans and the creators. One thing going to conventions, I've always been, I've always found it so remarkable how relaxed the attitude is at anime conventions between, um, between the, the people in the audience and the people on stage. People, the people on stage very much not only behave, you know, are very polite and reasonable, you know, they don't behave like they're stars. They don't behave like, ooh, all these people are are um, um, are adulating me, and you know they're not puffed up. They very much act and feel like reasonable, real people. Um, so you know, I I think you know that's a remarkable thing, and you see that also in general, not just in. Um, and not just at conventions, but also how how the creators post on social media and how they talk about things. You know, over in, in other fandom, especially in other like American fandoms, uh, the people who are you know making your various shows and so forth, they might post and, and do stuff and so forth. But there's there definitely feels like there's a bigger gulf between them and and the fans, and they, they tend to keep themselves pretty separated from the fans. And that doesn't seem to be the uh, the same with the professionals in the anime industry, both you know, North American professionals and Japanese professionals, uh, and there seems to similarly be in general a a similar respect within the fans, where the fans understand that these people are you know um, that you shouldn't show up at their house, right? Um, you know, don't get that ridiculously obsessed uh, obsessed with things. Uh, Japan indeed has had more problems with that than we have, which I think is a, is a really cool thing. That uh, especially in America, that we seem to to understand that um, um, other people deserve a certain amount of private time and and privacy in the general sense. I think that's a that's a really cool thing. 
Um, another thing that's interesting to me, I think, about anime fandom, too, is how... <clears throat> and this is something that's changed a lot over time, where there's a lot of... No negativity, Tonto. We're not here to be negative. Um, the... Um, we have become, in general, um, oh, we've actually, I don't know. When I talk to anime fans face to face, um, they're pretty understanding of, I like this and you like that and that's fine. And the fact that people are going to have very different tastes. Um, and I think on the internet, we have far fewer, here's the thing, we argue and we disagree, but anime fans in general do not harass the way other fandoms do. You don't see the kind of behavior you see in the video games community uh, and in other communities where like it, it crosses a line. And I really respect that about how our fandom, you know, we, we can be, we can be as as crazy and geeky and over the top as any other fan, but we seem to have so far avoided that aspect of, you know, oh, you believe this about Dragon Ball Z? Well, I'm going to destroy your life by calling, you know, it's like, mm, um, you know, we don't call SWAT teams on each other, which is, is kind of nice. Um, so I think that, 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 that's, that's really good. Um, I also really appreciate just in general convention culture. Um, you know, I've been to a, a, a couple of different types of conventions, and I think it's really cool that um, anime uh, anime conventions are very safe environments, right? When I see a little kid at an anime convention, and it's not obvious that their parent is right there, I don't immediately go, you know, parent, where are you? What's going on? Um, you know, I'll, I'll look around to make sure there's some adult that seems to have some, you know, responsibility there. But, um, you know, anime conventions are certainly not the Wild West scary place that they can be with other groups of people, right? Um, it's just been very, very, you know, one of those things that just works. Um, you know, we seem to have, have figured out how to make those safe, reasonable places where you can go, enjoy yourself, have a good time, um, and generally, people are are pretty. What's interesting about anime conventions is the positive energy there, and that is true of other conventions. But Gen Con, for example, which is a big tabletop gaming convention, um, while there's a positive energy, it's much more laid back. When I go to an anime convention, I always leave an anime convention feeling, "Dang, I want to watch more anime," and that is not true of other you know, other conventions and, and the way, uh, way other things work. And I think that's, that's one of the really cool things. Um, also, when we're talking about panelists, there's, uh, and, and panels, I think panelists and anime cons are really good about providing information, you know, staying after to answer questions, um, and generally, you know, being available to, to be there compared to other cons where kind of you go there and somebody you know, stands up, gives a talk, and then walks out. Um, um, and it's not that other 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 conventions or, or other fandoms are bad about this, but it seems we have a very you know very open fandom in that sense where you can just you know hang out and talk with people and that's fine. Um, yeah, it's it's totally you know it's it's totally really cool. I also appreciate that I think anime fandom has done um, better than other fandoms with uh, cosplay and respect of cosplay. You know, the whole cosplay is not consent and, you know, hands off and asked to take a, a picture seem to me much more prevalent in anime cons and other conventions where, you know, when, when you're at a con and, and somebody takes a picture and doesn't ask for permission, people are shocked. Whereas other conventions, it's, it's just, it's more, well, they should have, but just, yeah, that happens. So that's something I really think is, is, is really awesome. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed Star City, Russ. That's a, that's a, that's a good con. Um, that's another interesting thing, too, actually, I just realized. Anime, anime has tons of tiny conventions, right? There are little sci-fi conventions and other conventions and things like that, and that's certainly there in other, in other fandoms. But there's, there, are, there are hundreds of conventions in North America alone. Um, you know, we have this very, very vibrant con culture. 
And I think it's a really, really healthy thing where it seems very easy for us to spin up conventions and make them um, uh, available, again, compared to other, other fandoms and other, other interests. You, know, you certainly don't see about um, romance novelists, you know, and there being hundreds of romance novel conventions all across the country. There will be some, but we just proliferate these things. We, we create them, you know, all the time, which I think is really, really cool. So I think that's really nice, um, and I just I I hope those sorts of things continue. I hope we have more of those those elements and more of those things at our uh, um, our conventions and such, and in our fandom in general. I think you know every fandom has its problems. Um, um, every everything in life is we're all connected, so that means all the good stuff and the bad stuff. But I, I really appreciate how anime fandom has figured a few things out. And that they, you know, they, they do that in, in ways that feel safe and comforting and open, but not in a way that is um, super weird. You know, there, there are other fandoms where they try to be open to everybody and allow everybody in. And it's kind of this, please come to, you know, do this thing. Please be part of this. And you don't get that either. It's just kind of like, hey, we're anime fans. If you like it, great. If not, okay, fair enough. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to convert you. But uh, there's just there's, there's a certain chillness to anime, to anime fandom once you get past the, you know, um, which character would kill the other in a battle stuff. Um, and, uh, and, and the, the sub-dub wars and, and such, but, uh, I think we've, we've got some stuff, we've got some stuff figured out.